Okay guys, I'm going to give you a quick demo on time signatures to help with drunken sailor. Um, my intention is not to patronise anybody here, I just want to make sure that we all understand what's going on because it's the time signatures that make drunken sailor really, really tricky. So, the actual original song, the original sea shanty drunken sailor is in 2-4. That's our time signature. The top number means the number of beats in a bar, the bottom number means the type of beat. Okay. The whole purpose of a bar is to tell you where the strong beats are going to come. The first beat of the bar is always the strongest. So in the original, there is a strong beat every two beats. What shall we do with the drunken sailor? What shall we do with the drunk? So what and drunk are the two imperative words there. The bottom number here, type of beat, is telling us the unit that we're counting on the page for every click of the pulse. The unit that we're counting, okay? So the original two normal beats in a bar. We can subdivide those beats into two groups of two, two sets of quavers. Two times two. What shall we do with the? That they would be quavers, normal quavers. Now, the six, eight bars in that piece are what we call compound time. This gets a little bit tricky. Compound time is where we divide one beat into three quavers instead of two. One beat is divided three times instead of two times. So six eight doesn't mean six beats in a bar, it means six quavers in a bar. But the six is divided into two, two sets of three. Therefore, a dotted crotchet is one beat in this time signature. A dotted crotchet is one beat. So in your Drunken Sailor, the music alternates between 2-4 and 6-8. What shall we do with that is 2-4. What shall we do with a Drunken Sailor? In those 6-8 bars, this is the rhythm that you get. Drunk and say are the words that we stress. They are where your sets of three would start. Okay? So what shall we do with a two, four, drunk and sailor is six, eight. Now, the thing that makes the piece so hard and so interesting at the same time is the alternating between those two things. Alternating between those two time signatures. The last time signature that's in drunk and sailor that is tricky is five, eight. Okay, 5 8 is where we get a mixture of these two. It's, it's an uneven time signature, 5 8. It's what we call a, an additive time signature. You can have, to add, add up to 5 to your beats in the bar, you can have 2 plus 3 or 3 plus 2. Uneven groupings. In 5 8 in Drunken Sailor, you always have one compound beat and one regular beat. One compound beat made up of three quavers. And one regular beat made up of two. So in those bars it goes, hooray, up, she rises, up, she rises. On up, you get three compound quavers, up, she rises, rises, two regular quavers, okay? Three in there, two in there. Hooray and up, she rises. That's a total of five quavers that gives you the additive time signature. So in those 5-8 bars, you have one compound beat divided into three quavers and one regular beat divided into two. They're the three types of time signature that you get in Drunken Sailor that make it tricky. Regular beats where we divide into two quavers, what shall we do with the regular time signatures? 6-8 when we're in compound time, one beat is divided into three quavers. Like drunk and sailor, drunk and sailor, three quavers in total. And finally, there was additive time signatures where you have one compound beat, one set of three, and two regular and uh, one regular beat made of two quavers. I'll say that again: one compound beat made of three quavers, and one regular beat made of two. So, 
hooray, and up she rises. Up she on the compound, rises on the regular. Up she rises. I hope that helps. Let me know if it doesn't or if you want me to cl clarify anything. You've got a regular time signature, a compound time signature, and then one with a bit of both thrown in. See you later, guys.